Favorite Piano Adventures, Level 3B, pages 26 and 27. The song is called Tropical Island. In this piece, we're going to be playing a lot of different triads. And we're going to be talking about how to finger those triads properly. We're also going to be playing some pedal, so watch out for that. And we're going to be getting louder and softer, doing a little bit of a retardando, and at some point playing maybe an octave higher. So let's find our position first, and then we'll talk about the details. The right hand is actually going to be starting here in an F position. But if you notice on the triad, all three of those notes are to be sharped. So they want one, two, and four on that chord. Like that. The left hand is actually starting, here's middle C. We're moving down not to this G, but to the low G. And putting our pinky there, and our thumb will be on D. So we're playing G and D there. Now if you look at the fingering, it says one, two, and four, one, three, and five. Like that for the fingering, so make sure that you follow their fingering. Okay? Alright. Let's get started with this piece. Let's take a listen to Tropical Island. forget that we're actually moving up to that octave higher note at the end. So I actually want to start at the last bar on page 27, okay? We were down here on G and D, and the right hand had to shift down to middle C, but sharped. A sharp, and F, and that's sharp because the key signature has an F sharp in it. Now if you look at my left hand, watch what happens here. I'm going to hit this, and my left hand is going to swing underneath here, and you can't see it, but I'm playing G, B, and D. My right hand's coming over the top playing F sharp, A sharp, and C sharp, like this. And then I shift up to do it again an octave higher, and an octave higher, and then a G chord way up here. Now let's see where this last chord is. Here's middle C, here's treble C, here's high C, and that G's way up there. So be careful, make sure you play that in the right spot. Then we come all the way back down to this middle position and play E and B, and G and D to finish. So that ending is a little tricky. I want to, I wanted to start there. Let's go back to the beginning fingering. One, two, and four. We do that to make it easier to shift to that chord. And now it says one, three, and five. Then we go back to that one, two, and four fingering. And then down to a C position. One, two, and four again. This is just repeating, right? We're at the seventh measure of the song. Now you notice why I'm sharpening my F's, key signature, so watch out. Now here the left hand takes over the melody. Make sure you play your eighth notes in that part as eighth notes, and there are two quarter notes per measure. Hold those, so eighth, 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 quarter, quarter, eighth, eighth. Eighth, eighth, quarter, quarter. And then we're repeating again. Left hand comes up here. F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. Slide up, slide up, slide back. And then we do that last uh, bar again. Slow down. Because there's a retardando there. Okay? The very beginning left hand, I'll do that real quick. We were on G and D, we have to come up to this chord, and we're just playing that chord, and then playing a G, and then coming back down here. Then G and A. Pretty simple. Then we come down to C and G. Up to B. B, A, A flat, cross under, G. Then down to G and D again. Then on D. D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, A, B flat now. G, E, and now we're repeating the G and D again. 
Okay? So the song isn't that hard, but we got to get good at shifting between chords and keeping a tempo. That's what this song's all about. Okay, hopefully that's enough information to help you play Tropical Island. Good luck.